Dick Wolfsey at Crackers Comedy Club. This is. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Dick. This is uh, Mark Hansen, and Mark is going to try to make uh, three Federal Express employees <laughs> laugh. This is going to be a tough audience. I'll oh, tell yeah. you that right oh, now. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, Dick. That's right. We now have four uh, FedEx employees, <laughs> and uh, one UPS person doesn't know the strike is over. But the, cra <laughs> the crowd, hey, man, I'm good at this, aren't I? So anyway, this guy, no. okay. <laughs> Good morning, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Eric Dick. Cody, good morning, sir. Hottie or Hody? Hottie. Hottie. It's going to be a hottie time tonight. Good morning. It, it, it hey, will. all the comedians tonight are part of a Monday night thing. Monday night live. Thing. What happens Monday night? Uh, Monday night lives, we have uh, it's basically open stage night. If you're a veteran, if you're an amateur, if you've never been on stage before, you can get up here, uh, take six minutes whack at it, and uh, see what happens. See what happens. Okay. Our first comedian is Mark Hansen, who's a chemist. Who's a chemist? A lot of funny chemists out there. There's a ton. Here we go. We'll put a phone Let's number up, up if you want to get involved. Mark Hansen, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. I live my life by a two-part comedy motto. Part one, blondes have more pun. Part two, as you cruise down the highway to insanity, why drive only yourself crazy when you can carpool? <laughs> Now, while you fasten your comedy seatbelts and think about that, I have a few questions about some of the words in the English language. How many of us here this morning agree with me that the word radioactive could mean has a job in broadcasting? <laughs> that Gatorade could be a fundraiser for needy reptiles. <laughs> could the word intent mean ready for bed during a camping trip? <laughs> Condescend when prisoners go down a ladder Retail, the operation needed by the three blind mice. It's weird. It's just weird. Oh, well, thank you very much. If your spectacles have plastic lenses, can you still call them glasses? <laughs> uh, are you guys having a good time here? Are you ready for more big fun? All right, but first the news. Tonight's news is brought to you by the new Elvis Presley brand cat food, Love Me Tender Vittles. <laughs> In local news, these headlines, bridge player arrested on trumped up charges hopes to cut a deal. <laughs> Hundreds of envelopes with no writing on them arrive at the post office. Postal officials are addressing the problem. <laughs> In entertainment news tonight, Opera fans in New York rioted when they learned they'd been listening to a placebo, Domingo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> turning, turning to the weather, tonight's forecast. Cloudy with a low near 50, the extended forecast. Cloudy with a low near 50. I'm Mark Hansen reporting. Thank you, guys. That was, a good way to end. That was for Thank Steve you. Bray. Mark Hansen, back with more comics from Crackers. Here's <laughs> Comedy Club comedian Troy Davis. All right, Biff. Nicely done. <laughs> Six oh. <laughs> yeah, Dave. This is uh, this is funnier than you could ever know. Okay. This is Mark Hansen. He was a big hit. Everybody was laughing. Yeah. Except for one person. Who's that? It makes me a little suspicious. I'm glad you have your glasses on. Yeah. Sir, um, you were not laughing. Uh, you know that makes me think. Are you an alien by any chance? No. He's, he says no, Dave. But uh, we're a little suspicious here. Looks like my uncle Maury. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey, Biff. Men in gray here. <laughs> Men in gray checking things out. I got an a someone here who hasn't been laughing. Let me check it out, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, hello there. Are you an alien? All right, let me give you a test question. Dave Barris. <laughs> Very suspicious, Dave. Very <laughs> suspicious. Yeah, okay, Dick. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Eric Cotty with Crackers Comedy Club, great comedy club here in Indianapolis, fabulous. and a fabulous comedy club. And every Monday night, what happens here, sir? Every Monday night, we give a chance for anybody out there who thinks they're anybody. funny, anybody, <laughs> get up on the stage and prove it. Okay, and these are some guys, actually, some of these guys have performed before, but they're still the amateur level. Oh, they're yeah. Still trying out. Uh, well, we, we do have some professionals that come up here, too, but yeah, it's, it's the entire span. Okay, our comedian next is Troy Davis, contractor here in Indianapolis. Here's Troy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yes, I am a contractor, and you know, people are real skeptical about hiring contractors because there's a lot of bad contractors out there. But I've compiled a top 10 list here of how you know you're dealing with a bad contractor. 
Number 10, you ask him for references and he starts explaining the witness relocation program. <laughs> Number nine, hands you a Crayola estimate. Number eight, the bed of his truck is full of beer cans. Number seven, the contract has a godfather clause. Number six, you come home early and find the entire crew playing with your kid's Nintendo. Number five, you turn on the garbage disposal and the toilet flushes. Number four, you can't help noticing his shoes are on the wrong feet. That's never good. Number three, you call the number on his business card and you find the lines being checked for trouble. Number two, you, Number two, you ask him if he has liability. He claims it comes from his daddy's side, but swears he's telling you the truth. And number one, the one, number one way you know you're dealing with a bad contractor, he doesn't watch Randy Ellis's weather report on daybreak. You know, people say some stupid things. I went to a McDonald's drive through window to order a sandwich. They said, that'll be 319, please drive around. I said, why, is it gonna be a while? Went to the mall to buy a shirt. The cashier said, how will you be paying for this? I said, I have a job. How do you think I'm going to pay for this? You guys like politicians? What do you think about Newt Gingrich? You know, Newt Gingrich is a man who's answered a question most of my adult life, and that is, what would the Gerber baby look like with white hair? <laughs> you guys like impressions? My impression of Chuck Willary. So then what happened? <laughs> and the FedEx people are here today. I was wondering if... Uh, do you uh, mail order brides? Do you, they send them UPS or FedEx? I mean, they absolutely, positively have to be there overnight or they'd suffocate, wouldn't they? Back with more comedy, uh, Dave, in the, in the last segment. I'm concerned about that alien, but we'll check it out, okay? All right. All right. Hey, Dave, I'm going to audition now, okay? All right, Biff. Okay. This skeleton walks into a bar, okay? Yeah. And he orders a beer and a mop. Wow. Dick Wolsey at uh, Crackers Comedy Club, uh, next comedian, Jerry Goble. And I want to tell you something, Dave. This looks like a tough audience, just based on, <laughs> just based, this is going to be rough. Whoa. Jerry's going to have a rough time. Oh, I, I hope they get some respect over okay. there. Okay. <laughs> But the government has customers, too. We don't think of it as customers, but we do have customers. And we have to get down to the bottom level. Everybody who, who has a, picks up trash, any activity of government ought to treat the citizen as a customer. So for two days, uh, we've locked away our middle managers with these nation's experts, and we're trying to figure out how we can come up with uh, customer quality standards. And there's no reason why people have to put up with uh, bad responses from bureaucrats. They ought to get good service, and if they don't get good service, they ought to get their money back. Thanks very much, mm -hmm. Mayor Steve Goldsmith. So, uh, Steve Goldsmith goes into a bar and... Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, every Monday night, if you're an aspiring comedian, or in some cases, a, per a perspiring one, if you're nervous, you can come here and uh, give them a call at... 852-2500, uh, 846-2500. 846-2500. You got seven seconds. What's coming up this uh, week? Carl Strong's this week, Tim Wilson's next week, and this coming Monday is a hypnotist, a magician, and then a couple comedians. So Terrific. See you. Our next comedian is Jerry Goble. Let's give him a nice... Yeah. Woo! Uh, hey. Hey, Steve, that was a joke, okay? Uh, so, so, you know, when my agent told me I'd be... Uh, Asked me if I'd like to perform an unnatural act. I had no idea it was comedy at 7 in the morning. <laughs> so, and clean. So this is a little unnatural for me. I was a little nervous. So I've been practicing all night and, uh, at Denny's since 2.30. So. Got six shows in and only got Grand Slam three times. So it's been a good day. Yeah. Uh, my, dad, my dad hates the fact that I do stand-up because he kind of competes with job. we got this little competition going. His, his job after graduation, he worked for Boeing, putting together Minuteman missiles, nukes. My job after graduation, Arby's. <laughs> he does his job right, it's the end of civilization as we know it. If I do my job right, I don't burn your curly fries. So, <laughs> it's so, kind of affected the way he raised us too, because uh, you know, how some parents will go out and cut a switch, punish their kids, my old man had a button. <laughs> Seems like every time I got in trouble, it was Bay of Pigs all over again. That's all I'm saying. It was, so, it was kind of cool in school, though, because uh, 
Some kids are bringing ant farms to school. Some kids are bringing seashells. Bring my 100 megaton tactical nuclear warhead. I win show and tell. Yes. It's great for school ground negotiations, too. Billy, the swing is mine. Don't make me use this. We had to move around a lot, though. Well, mainly because of the radiation, because uh, <laughs> so, the cat grows a new head. It's time to move. It's, uh, but, but, you know, as I moved around, moved around a lot, I got to be like the new kid all the time. And uh, I always got into fights, and the fights always started the same way. My dad can beat up your dad. Oh, yeah? My dad can kill your whole state. <laughs> I think I win. I'm Jerry Goble. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Dave, once again, uh, Crackers Comedy Club, give them a call. I think it's 846, we weren't sure, 2500, it is indeed. And if you are an aspiring comedian, you can come any Monday night and come on up to the microphone, but give them a call first. Dick Wolf, see at Crackers, the audience is getting more and more hostile as the hours wane on. There we go, we'll be right back. <laughs> Dick Wolsey. Hey, Dick. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> hey, this is uh, Sean Shank at Crackers Comedy Club. Go ahead, Sean. I don't know if you heard about this. It's kind of creepy. Apparently, a 63-year-old woman and a 60-year-old man had a kid together. A 63-year-old woman and a 60-year-old man. The only thing I'm thinking is they're going to spend a fortune keeping that family in diapers. <laughs> See, everybody, very funny stuff. Everybody laughed but one. All right, you can't, fa uh, you can step in the light here. You can't, look, take that mask off. Ray Compton, let's give him a nice round of applause. Hey. <laughs> do you think Jim, Why did I know it was you? Do you think Jimmy Erson and Donnie Walsh do this for a living? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You've been doing some great promotion for your opening night. Tell us about it, sir. Well, first of all, some of my hockey teams have done a good job, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Hey, it's opening night, tomorrow night, Saturday night. Our whole theme is men in black. Our players will be wearing black uniforms. We're giving away sunglasses. All the ushers and ticket takers are going to be wearing black suits and black ties like the movie Men in Black. Terrific. We wish you luck. i got to tell you, I've said this before, you work hard at what you do. We I, try. I admire you. Thank you. Ray much. Compton, and thanks to Crackers Comedy Club. Back to you, Dave. Hey, Dick. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, what's it like? I, I, is Ray saying that comedy is alien to him? Yeah, he wa Dave wants to know, is comedy, oh, comedy alien to oh, you? Oh, Dave, you're killing me. You're killing <laughs> me, Dave. And, he, and they're, they're, he's killing people all over the city, trust me. <laughs> That's the you. funniest line you've had all morning. I'll Thanks, Dick. Right. We'll see you later. <laughs>